AR1 Rock DIY here. This is a handy heater heat wave parabolic space heater. I bought it because two small little heaters I had out in my shed basically don't do anything anymore because I've had them for so long they barely do anything. So I decided I would go out and get another heater. Unfortunately most of the hardware big box stores consider this the end of the winter season even though it's uh, the beginning of February. Still some winter left, but I guess they get all their heaters prior to the beginning of winter. And then midway or towards the end of winter, they don't get any more. So I was left with getting this heater. And I would tell you right from the get-go, that picture on the box is slightly exaggerated. Gives you the impression that this thing's got some really, really good heat coming out of it. But as you can see, it's not glowing and doesn't look like it's all, you know, producing tons of heat like the picture does. What you do see is... The heating elements right there there's like one two three four five six seven coils or seven heating elements in there and right now it is 20 degrees outside I'm trying to do some work in my work shed and i need some heat but unfortunately this thing doesn't quite produce the heat that it's made out to be in the box pictures if you're standing right next to it it's okay uh, to be fair the instructions say that the the best heat is produced at about 10 feet away from it and you're not supposed to have anything within three feet of it i am maybe two and a half feet away from it and i can barely feel the heat come off of it this shed is 10 by 20 it's been on for over two hours and i don't think the temperature has changed at all in here the shed's not insulated or anything but uh, you would think that it would warm it up a little bit in it but it's not and as you can see how cold it is it does have right now you can't really see too much of a glow like it shows in the picture but if you get directly in front of it it will start to produce that reddish color but all it is is the reflection of the heating coils off the back of the heater. It is very, very light. And it does have a tip sensor alarm. You move it backwards, frontwards, to the side, the alarm starts going off. The red light is eventually supposed to start flashing, but it's staying solid. And then it turns off. You can see it's turned off since it's been tipped. And now it's starting to heat back up. There's only uh, three settings on it. Off, low, and high. This is on high. It doesn't blow any air. It's supposed to be a parabolic space heater. So really the heat you're getting off of is the reflection off the metal backing from the coils. It's nice that it doesn't produce any noise. And it's also nice that uh, it doesn't blow air because sometimes when you're working with a lot of you know, sawdust, dust of any type, you got to heater going it, uh, a heater that has a blower on it could get messy if it's uh got a blower on that is my review of this handy heater heat wave when i saw it it's not like i had a bunch of options but it didn't draw my attention like ooh, that thing really produces a lot of heat i better get that one but i did have some hope that it would uh, do better than it's doing because it is freezing and uh, i don't think that the temperature is going to change it's going to stay the temperature that it is right in front of it but uh it's not going to heat this shed up at all maybe if it was 60 degrees it might heat it to 62 but uh yeah this isn't that great of a heater